So let's learn and enjoy mathematics. Our lesson is about factorial notation. What is factorial notation? It is the process of multiplying consecutive decreasing whole numbers. So it means the notation for a factorial is an exclamation point. So the given n factorial that is equal to n times n minus 1, so that is consecutive decreasing, and then n minus 2, and then so on, up, up to makarating sa 1. So it means in the given example, that is 4 factorial, so it means 4, 4 minus 1 is 3, 4 minus 2 is 2, and then hanggang makarating na 1. So if we multiply 4 times 3 is 12, times 2, 24, times 1, the answer is equal to 24. How about the zero factorial? The equivalent for the zero factorial, that is equal to 1. In example number 1, 6 factorial. So it means 6 ba -ba -ba, times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So, hanggang makarating ng 1. If we multiply 6 times 5, the answer is equal to 30. 30 times 4, that is 120. 120 times 3, that is 360. 360 times 2 is 720 times 1, that is equal to 720. So, it means the 6 factorial, it is equal to 720. How about number 2? 4 factorial times 3 factorial. So, it means kapag nakakita kayo ng ganito, it means that is multiplication. So, 4 factorial, so that becomes 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So, it means how about the 3 factorial? So, that is 3 times 2 times 1. So, let us multiply. 4 times 3 is 12 times 2, that is 24, times 1, that is equal to 24. And then 3 times 2 is 6 times 1, the answer is equal to 6. So it means 24, if we multiply 24 times 6, the answer is equal to 144. So 4 factorial times 3 factorial, the answer is equal to 144. How about this one? 5 factorial plus 4 factorial. So it means the 5 factorial that is equivalent to 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And then we need to write plus. And then 4 factorial that is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So it means the 5 factorial, let us multiply. 5 times 4, that is 20, times 3, 60, times 2, 120, times 1, the answer is 120. And then plus. 4 times 3 is 12, times 2, 24, times 1, that is equal to 24. If we add 120 plus 24, the equivalent for 5 factorial plus 4 factorial, that is equal to 144. How about example number 4? Divide. 9 factorial divided by 7 factorial. So it means 9 factorial, that is 9 times 8 times 7 factorial only. Why? Because we have the denominator that is 7 factorial. Because the equivalent of 7 factorial, that is 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Also, the denominator 7 factorial, parehas lang yung equivalent nun. So, pwede nating hindi na i-distribute. So, it means 7 factorial, let us cancel. And then, 9 times 8, let us multiply. So, 9 times 8, the answer is equal to 72. So, 9 factorial divided by 7 factorial, the answer is equal to 72. How about example number 5? So, 10 factorial all over 6 factorial times 3 factorial. So, kung division to, ibig sabihin nun, titignan nyo kung saan mag-stop. 
para hindi na i-factored form. So, ibig sabihin nun, mag-stop tayo sa 6 factorial. So, 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 factorial because we have 6 factorial in the denominator. While the 3 factorial, let us distribute, that is 3 times 2 times 1. First, we need to cancel 6 factorial. Afterwards, tignan natin yung pwede pang ma-reduce to lowest term. So, 10 divided by 2, pwede pa. So, 10 divided by 2, that is equal to 5. And then, 9 divided by 3, the answer is equal to 3. So, yung natira natin, let us copy 5 times 3 times 8 times 7. Well, the denominator, that is 1. Afterwards, let us multiply. 5 times 3 times 8 times 7, the answer is equal to 840 divided by 1, that is equal to 840. So, 10 factorial all over 6 factorial, 3 factorial, that is equal to 840. Let us apply what you have learned about factorial notation. Instruction. Evaluate factorial notation. Provide your answers in the comment section.